Hey there, my name is Chris Acton with Acting Creative, and this is a hand woven experience. And in today's episode, well, I'm gonna tell you a story first before we dive into today's episode. You see, many, many moons ago, beginning weaver Chris had just finished her very first project. And I distinctly remember a moment when the teacher looked at me and said, so what do you wanna do next? <laughs> I had no idea. I had no clue what was supposed to come after that. The world of weaving is too big and there's too many choices. So as I reflect back to that moment, I thought, wouldn't it have been handy to have some guidance about weaving patterns, specifically which ones need one shuttle and which ones require two shuttles? So you guessed it. This is the first in a two part series where I'll be presenting my list of one shuttle weaving patterns and two shuttle weaving patterns. So today let's kick it off with one shuttle. Now I have listed the weaving patterns kind of from easiest to a little more challenging, but I want to make a note that even the bottom of the list, None of it is crazy hard. None of these I would consider advanced techniques. It's just a matter of more moving parts, maybe a little more challenging threading or treadling or playing with some certain element. I promise you can handle everything on this list. It's just a matter of kind of working your way through them and learning the techniques you need. So without further ado, let's start the list off with, mm, you guessed it, plain weave. Huh? Plain weave is the ultimate one shuttle pattern. You can absolutely, of course, always use more than that, but you don't have to. There's a whole big wide world of options with plain weave. You can play with the materials, you can change up the textures, you can play with color. Please play with color. There's all kinds of great options when it comes to plain weave. So I consider it kind of the king of one shuttle weaving patterns. Next on my list is Hopsack. Now, in a little bit of trivia, Hopsack was actually the very first pattern at the very first weave along a number of years ago now. Uh -huh. But Hopsack is great fun. It has this wonderful geometric look to it. It's easy to do and it weaves up fast. So if you are just starting, Hopsack is a great option. Mm -hmm. Next is Bumberay. Now this is one that I discovered not too long ago and I have to say it's a real joy to weave. It's so much fun. It has kind of a similar look to Hopsack but there are little subtle differences too. So definitely keep Bumberay on your list of possible weaving patterns. Next up for us is Twill. We absolutely cannot have a list of one shuttle weaving patterns without talking about Twill. Now as a little asterisk, I'll give you a little spoiler alert. Twill is going to make the two shuttle list too. Mm -hmm. Nice crossover action, right? But when you think of Twill, it's this entire world of variations. There's so many options you can do with Twill and so many of them only require one shuttle. Some of my favorites include Herringbone and Rose Path. Woo, so good. So definitely have twill on your list. Uh, honest to God, you could actually just weave twill for like the next 10 years and never get bored, truly. So after twill, I have lace. Now lace, kind of like twill, is this whole category. There's all kinds of variations of lace that you can play with and absolutely should. But lace is a wonderful pattern that has these just like planned irregularities in the warp, the weft, or both. It's just really a delightful pattern to uh, play with. So definitely try some lace friends. You'll love it. Next up for me is waffle weave. Now, if you are someone who wants to weave towels, you absolutely must, must, must try waffle weave. It's this wonderful pattern that when washed has this amazing dimension. Talk about the most absorbent of probably any other pattern. Waffle weave is wonderful for that. And it makes those cute little waffles. You can, you have to try some waffle weave for sure. And in the list where we are, 
we're starting to get to the patterns that have a few more things going on. So maybe don't pick Waffle Weave for your second project. Maybe that's your third or fourth project. Mm -hmm. All right, after Waffle Weave, I have Double Weave. Now, Double Weave is lovely and wonderful and you only need one shuttle to do it. But it does make your brain work for it, that's for sure. Double Weave is just what it sounds like. You're able to weave two layers at the same time. What you do with it from there, that's up to you. You can have two layers and have it connected at one side or both sides. You can make tubes, you can make twice the width, you can just make two layers. There's all kinds of options. And double weave is great fun. But I would say maybe not, maybe not your second project. You can if you're feeling brave, but double weave does require a little more, a little more thought process to get the hang of it but keep it on your list for sure. And lastly, on my list of one shuttle weaving patterns is Crackle. Now, Crackle can absolutely be done with two shuttles, and in many cases it is, but it doesn't have to be. Crackle can be done with just one shuttle, back and forth, back and forth. Now, Crackle is absolutely a pattern that requires a more complicated threading as you move your yarns through, as you thread them through the shafts, and treadling as you're throwing your shuttle back and forth. You gotta stay sharp when you're doing some crackle, but the effect is really unlike anything else. So definitely keep a crackle in the wish list for uh, down the road. Hmm? Now, I know that is not all of the patterns that require one shuttle. So tell me which one have I missed? What have I missed from your list of favorites when it comes to one shuttle weaving patterns. And I've got a little something extra if you would like. You see, I'm a girl that likes to have things written down. I like a piece of paper where I can make some notes, where I can check things off, all kinds of good stuff. So I put together this list with a few more important details for you and it is available to my Acting Creative Insiders. Just join the membership, come on over and download your copy. It'll be something that you can have in a file for a rainy day, or you can have near your loom just in case you're in between projects. However, it will help you. But for all the Acting Creative Insiders, they will get a copy of this list of the one shuttle weaving pattern list. Fun, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is wonderful because we have more to look forward to. And then very next episode, I'm going to give you my list of two shuttle weaving patterns. But just like this list, we'll go from easiest to a little more challenging. You'll be surprised. Some of them really easy. They just need two shuttles. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, have a wonderful week. Happy weaving. <laughs>